हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू द बॉन्ग वॉन्डरर्स वी आर बैक विथ अ ब्लॉग ऑन टिप्स सो इन दिस ब्लॉग वी आर गोइंग टू कवर टिप्स फॉर यू टू हेल्प यू डू आर रोड ट्रिप ड्यूरिंग समर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर योर कार हाउ यू शुड प्रिपेयर योर सेल्फ इफ यू आर ट्रेवलिंग विथ किड्स वॉट आर द थिंग्स यू नीड टू डू एंड डोंट फॉर गेट योर फारी बेबीज विच आर कवर्ड इन द टिप्स एज वेल सो स्टे टिल द एंड ऑफ द ब्लॉग to make the most of it so the first tips would be how to make your car ready uh, for summer travel and car is the extremely critical component for your road trip so let's hear it from the captain of our ship um five things to remember one service your car like you do every time uh check fluids specially ensure that your ac is running fine number 2 have shades on your window panes um again there is a legal limit of 2 or 3 depending upon which state you are of the number of shades that you can put on your windows so it's better to put the back side windows shaded so that it's comfortable for people traveling in the back seat which is generally either your pet or your kid number 3 do not fill your tank full with fuel always keep some space fuel generally tend to gas up and it creates more air pressure in the fuel tank in the summer that can be deadly number 4 your tire pressure firstly fill in nitrogen in place of normal air and reduce the air pressure to the lowest possible limit that your car comes with the car manual comes with yes it might be a little bit of fuel inefficient mileage but it's good for your tires that they will not inflate quickly and the last thing is that you should always clean your car before you start and yes i forgot to tell you that in the when you're running your car do uh, take stops uh, in interval of every 2 or 3 hours but when you're stopping the car do ensure that you stop under a tree so that your car gets some shade and also stop the entire car stop the engine running so that the engine cools down a little bit as well so those are the general tips that you should follow if you're planning a road trip during summers uh what to do if uh, they need help on the way a uh, good point so as a practice you should always have the 24 bar 7 support service number like we have mahindra so we do have 24 bar 7 mahindra support number with us in case your car breaks down which can in this kind of heat uh, way then you should be able to um actually call uh, to get support one more thing since he mentioned that you can give the window shades only in the second seat of your car please make sure if you are having children uh, or elder uh, senior citizens in your car then they are seated in the second seat of the car or the, the you know if you are in a xuv the third seat i mean which have shades on the window and not on the pilot pilot seat we anyways always recommend in our tips uh, not to make the children seated in the pilot seat Uh, sorry co pilot seat so yeah just just make sure that you uh, remember these things and you are well sorted all right so in this segment we are going to talk about the overall readiness uh, for a road trip during summer let's start with food if you are going for a long road trip you have to pack food yes but ensure that you pack uh, dry food and whole fruits <laughs> and if you are packing lunch breakfast please ensure that they are extremely light on the tummy if you are planning to have food on the go uh, from restaurants or dining places on the road make sure you pick up good ones and make sure you are having something very light on the tummy no matter how much tempted you are we strongly recommend you not to go for the biryanis and the butter naans of the world 
uh, they will not do good to you on a road trip trust me <coughs> while on the road we are do we are right now on the road during summer and the site that sometimes uh, uh, we see uh, on on the side of the road uh, from people overeating or having spicy food i don't think you want to be part of that all right that's about the food next water extremely important you have to ensure uh, you have a well stock of water in your car and and also carry different types of fluids healthy fluids right <clears throat> carry coconut water carry uh, anything which is uh, related to curd uh, as long as they are bottled so that they don't spill over and spoil your car um uh, try not to carry any bottled fruit juices because we will advise to carry a ph neutral drink while you are on the road during summer next medicine please ensure that you have the medicines which are extremely essential uh, for a road trip during summer uh, medicines related to headache for adults because sometimes on the road you get a little dehydrated you can get headache you might have a vomiting sensation so these are the kind of medicines and because of the heat also sometimes people get fever so fever vomiting headache medicines are a must uh, if you are allergic please keep an anti allergic also Uh, in your kitty apart from some of the other medicines that your doctor will recommend you to keep on the move uh, anything you want to add no i think uh, uh, from a food standpoint uh, you have covered all that you have covered keep it light yeah so uh, last but not the least clothes uh, please ensure that during summer you wear cotton clothes or any clothes which are well aerated which facilitates uh, you know more air and uh, very soft on the body we always advise to uh, advise our viewers to make sure that the kids always wear uh, full pants uh, irrespective of gender on road trip because you have to get down and use washrooms uh, we continue to advise <coughs> you that even for summer road trips but please ensure in that case they are going for cotton pants or anything which is light on the body and provide aeration and doesn't suffocate the child uh, loose long airy loose long airy okay and very important particularly for summer road trips please ensure you have some vomiting bags um, uh, in your kitty it might come handy so that's all we have to cover for your overall readiness in this segment this segment will help you to get yourself ready for a road trip with your furry baby during summer dogs or any other pets tend to uh, get heat stroke much faster than human beings so you should give regular stoppages and hydrate your dog or any other pet one hour interval give water second is um when you're stopping to walk your pet to relieve him or her uh, stop under a tree do not walk your pet under the open sun number 3 um from a food standpoint maintain light food like how uh, it is for the humans maintain the same thing for dogs and cats or any other pets that's traveling with you <coughs> the lesser or the lower the quantity of food the better it is from a tummy standpoint and like any other uh, time to travel with pet um visit your vet before you travel get your pet completely checked and also carry medicines on road so that you can administer medicines whenever it is required so those are four quick steps to remember to travel with your pet during summers we have a detailed vlog Uh, for you on how uh, you can prepare yourself if you are taking your furry baby with you for a road <coughs> trip so please make sure you spend some time and watch that vlog for detailed information and tips in this segment in this segment we are going to talk about how a mother or a father can prepare uh, themselves to be ready for a road trip with kids um 
well for the detailed information on your readiness uh, in this particular category please do visit our vlog on this we have a detailed information which will be helpful for you on this but here i'm going to quickly touch base on some of the things you need to keep in mind for the summer trips now uh, first to start with food please make sure you do not give your kids heavy meals give them small meals at different intervals because they'll be hungry and it's okay to stay a little bit hungry throughout the road rather than uh, giving a full meal and then you know getting into some not so good incidents uh, of vomiting and and all those nauseating feeling which happens more uh, during summer if you are on the road um, also when you are giving meals please ensure that they are extremely light on the tummy preferably even if you are a non veg preferably avoid non veg and go for veg meals water please make sure your kids are well hydrated during summer they might end up getting cramps otherwise at the end of the trip and you have you can uh, give them a variety of drinks so that in case they are not very keen to have water but you can give them coconut water or uh, buttermilk which are available in packaged bottles and uh, and of course make sure that none of them require a refrigeration constant refrigeration otherwise it might get spoiled so do not carry them if any of the drinks carry uh, require refrigeration and like uh, we covered in the first segment make sure your kids wear very uh, loose uh, clothes cotton clothes uh, which have sufficient aeration um, and they are comfortable in those clothes so yeah these are some of the things you need to keep in mind apart from the medicines that you need to carry uh, to make yourself uh, comfortable for a road trip with your kid hope these tips helped you um, for a road trip during summer do visit our channel for more detailed tips uh, to help you plan your road trips better if you do like what we are sharing please do subscribe us and keep watching this space for more meaningful content for you thank you for watching bong wanderers love you take care see you in the next vlog